hi everyone and welcome back to my channel this is your first time you're welcome so in today's tutorial i'll be using this pattern here to make a crop top in my previous tutorial I've sh i shared how to make this pattern so i'll drop the link in the description for you to watch so like the crop top i'm doing is just like this. this is just like a rough sketch of what i want to do i'll have the front panel and the back panel just maybe with a little sleeve i don't know yet maybe as i go on and i'll determine if i'll be attaching a sleeve or not so the measurement you need is your chest measurement and uh, how long you want your crop top to be my chest is 36 and i won't say the size small maybe medium so you need your chest measurement and you will need the total length of your crop top probably mine will be around 17 inches or 18 inches thereabouts it depends on how long or how short you want your top to be so to start so let's get straight into the tutorial this pattern i'll be making use of this acrylic yarn and i'll be doubling the strand I'll be doubling it and I'll be making use of a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. So right now I've made a total chain of 60. I made a total chain of 60 chains because um this pattern this pattern is a multiple of sticks, right? This is a multiple of sticks. So right now if I measure this. I should be having about 18 inches, which is the half measurement for my chest or your bust measurement. So, giving this a little bit of stretch will take me to 18 inches and I am okay with that. You can make it as big as you want, but I don't want it too big. I just want it to just lay on my body perfectly. So to start with now, I'm going to be starting our round one. And to start your round one, you make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And I'm going to make a chain three. And I'm going to be skipping two, two chains, one, two. And into the third one, I'm going to be putting a single crochet. So I'm going to make a chain three into the next three, skip two into the next, make a single crochet. So I'll be repeating this all the way for round one, and I'll meet you back at the end of round one. So now I've done uh, my front panel. So I did the front panel already. And the initial plan was to do like uh, a round neck, but I changed my mind and I decided to make it this way. So I've done the front panel and now back at the back panel. So I did the back panel up to up to this place. So uh, the top is about sixteen inches long, if I'm right, about sixteen inches long. So it depends on the length you want for the top, and from here to here is about ten inches. So I made the total rows of. Uh, let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? So I did eleven for half part of this, but a total of eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So a total of sixteen rows for this and um, for this pattern you can check my previous video i uploaded a tutorial 
for this pattern so you can understand better so to continue for this i'm going to be i'm going to make show you how i made uh the shoulder the shoulder area just this black so for the shoulder part i just counted uh four from this side and four from the other side like in the sense like one two three and four and i'm going to put a stitch marker right there and i'll go to the other side and count just say one two three and one two three and four so i'm going to put the stitch marker right there and you can see so if you see this one panel one two three and four and you should have like uh one two and three at the middle so you can see one two three so i'm going to attach this black yarn now and we'll be doing the shoulder strap together so actually the depth of this top is like about um i think six inches or seven or thereabout so it depends if you want it higher but probably you want your chest to go higher then you can make this down parts longer or you can actually do it in a solid color just a single color all throughout so i'm going to attach this one right here so there i have it and i'm going to make a chain of six one two three four five and six i'm going to turn my work to the other side So I'll be repeating row two, row three rather. For this, I'm going to make a single crochet into every of the chain for spaces. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. <laughs> once i get to the space i marked i'm going to just put a single crochet and i'm going to chain three and flip my work right and i'm going to do a cluster stitch right into a space Chain four, single crochet into the next, chain four, cluster into the next, so this top is just like, uh, not really a crop top, but just, uh, it's, it's probably lay above the navel area. Back at the end, yeah. And I'm going to put the cluster, then a single crochet 
into the third chain one two and three so you can decide to just uh, use this to make a dress so three four five and six and it's a great pattern for summer top or you just want a lace stitch that is not too that doesn't have too much holes right and you just want it simple this pattern is actually great for that so i'll be doing this for i'll be making a total rows of five right and i'll meet you back once I'm done with this shoulder area. So right now I'm done with uh, the shoulder. Can see. And I'm going to proceed by doing this other one. So I'm going to be attaching the yarn to the top of the double crochet right there. So I'm going to secure that with a chain one. And I'm going to make a chain six. So three, four, five. I'm going to flip my work to the other side and into the straight foot space I'll put a double crochet. Chain three, single crochet rather, chain three, then single crochet two. So I'm going to repeat this all the way to make a total of five. One, one, two, three, four, and five. So I'll meet you back once I'm done with the two. Right? So right now I'm done. With the two shoulders, you can see right there. So, what we're doing next is to join the front and the back together this way. You can see. So I'm going to be laying it flat and join together. Okay, so you have it like this. So I'll be sewing. So I left a long, I left a long strap enough to sew those together. So I'll join this together. I'm going to sew this together as well. Then I'll sew the two sides. So for the armhole. For the arm hole, I'm going to use about uh, 8 inches or 7 and a half because I don't want it too tight on the, my armpit. So I could just go down by 7 inches this way. Or it depends. Or you might want it larger, you can go down. But that I use a 7 and a half or I use it for my arm hold right? so I'm going to sew all the way up to where I want my arm hole then I'll just sew the space together and I'll be doing this for the other side too as well and I'll come back right here to show you what I've done 
so right now i'm done you can see i've joined both sides together and this is what so don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so see you soon and bye